This is Abe Freetanzer from Awards Watch, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Nazrin Chowdhury about Red, White, and Blue. How are you, Nazrin? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. What should people know about this film going in? Well, this is a story about reproductive rights and in the landscape of uh, the Supreme Court's decision to effectively reverse Roe v. Wade and what the real world repercussions are for one family, specifically a young single parent living in Arkansas and what this means for her in terms of the urgent and necessary healthcare she needs. Uh, but it's a really human and characterful story told not to be political, but just to see the human realities of the effects on a family like the one in our story. And obviously based on your accent, I presume you're not from Arkansas originally. And the, the title indicates America. Do you think this is a very distinctly American story? Very interesting question. Red, White and Blue was uh, titled that way as an allusion to the flag of the United States of America. Yes, my accent is not from here, but I do actually reside here. I'm raising two young daughters here and I feel like this affects everybody living under the flag of the United States of America. You will either have reproductive rights that have been affected, uh, maybe not in every state, but you could easily move to a state and it suddenly becomes an issue for you or you will know someone whose reproductive rights are affected. And you know, what's interesting about living here is, you know, America is the land of the free. It's the greatest democracy in the world. So I think for someone like me, who is American, by the way, I'm an American citizen, don't let my accent fool you. I always say you can take the girl out of London, but you can't take London out of the girl, but I am an American and I can vote and so are my children. And so if this can happen in the land of the free, even though I come from the UK where it feels like, it's a no-brainer for everybody that these rights should be protected. If those can be rolled back here in America, it can be rolled back anywhere. So specifically, this is a story set in America, but there's a universal resonance to it because uh, these issues are uh, issues in other countries. And for the countries that they aren't, maybe they could be easily so as they are here in America. I think it is a very powerful and effective film, but I'm sure that there are some who don't think that and are very against the idea of the film. Has it been seen widely enough that you've received any sort of criticism from those who clearly don't agree with what the film is about? What's been really interesting is we've had a lot of people really come to this movie and it's resonating for them. And surprisingly, even resonating for, like there's been a couple of comments that we've received where it's like, this has changed my view on this procedure. Um, and yeah, I, I know that there's probably going to be more negativity to come potentially about our film, but we hope actually that hasn't happened thus far. Whether it will continue to happen, I don't know. But as a reminder, we set out to tell a very human story without judgment. And it was to start a conversation across the political divide of like, look, this is what it means for people who might exist in your own lives, actually, that you might not be seeing in some way. So we're really hoping this starts a dialogue and a conversation. We did not set out to preach to the converted or preach to the choir in any way, or to just uh, heavy handedly hit people over the head with uh, this subject matter. It was really, let's just talk about our shared humanity. And that's what I, as a storyteller, always set out to do, is if we can feel and walk a mile in someone else's shoes, then maybe we'll understand the predicaments that if we were in those shoes, maybe we would feel differently about something in practice than we do in theory. I agree with that. And what was your familiarity with Brittany Snow like? Did you want her originally for this role? Yes, she was uh, very high up on my list of people that I wanted to work with. And I think if you've seen the film, you'll know uh, her performance in this is a real tour de force. I mean, she is incredible in it. So are all of our actors, Juliet Donenfeld, Ring Mansell, Mo Collins, Jude Tyler, so many, Ashley Williams, so many people to name. But Brittany as the person who, um, you know, this hinges upon as much as some of the other characters in the film. I think having someone like her who just... I can't imagine anyone else in the role now because she brings such a grounded, heartbreaking and emotional performance to this role as Rachel Johnson, a mother who's struggling in Arkansas. She's a dream to work with as well. I would work with her in a heartbeat again. And I just have so much uh, respect for her 
she's a real artist, but she's also a real human being. And this is your first short film. What is what's what are your takeaways? Is this thing you want to do again? You know, I do. Like, I have been writing for a really, really long time. So I always thought I would direct way back in the early part of my career. But you go, get into television, uh, as I have, and you, if, when you're show running, you're effectively working with directors and maintain your artistic vision. And there's not really a need to direct, even though some people do. For me, Red, White and Blue ended up being my directorial debut because... I just knew this story. I had lived experience myself that meant that I knew what this story needs to be and how every single frame and the layers of storytelling, because there are many things in each frame of the story that are very thought through, how that needed to be. And so, you know, it's not that I didn't trust anyone else with it. I just knew I was the best placed person to tell that story. And then, of course, you act direct and you do get bitten by the bug and you realize how much you do know. And then all the things that you don't know, you realize, I think I heard this interview with Martin Scorsese, um, who was talking about, you know, just learning something new on everything that he does, but then talking to other director friends of mine who say, look, every time you get into a situation because no one film is the same. You know, the actors will be different. The story will be different. So there'll be a curveball thrown at you. And even experienced directors know that this is, um, there's a learning curve to every single project they do. And I think once you understand that and you know that 90% of life is problem solving, whether it's in a writer's room or any job, that's what a director's job is. It's to be decisive and it's to problem solve and it's to make everyone feel comfortable and be able to do their best work. And I was really grateful to have a fantastic cast and crew that allowed me to cut my teeth in the way that I did by supporting me through, through all of that. So yeah, definitely bitten by the directing bug, but it's always story dependent for me. If it deserves my voice on it and I'm the best person to tell that story, great. If it needs someone else to tell that story, even though I've written it, it's really about making story become the king of everything that I do, or the queen. Oh, well, thank you for making this film and good luck with the Oscars and whatever you do next. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have been shortlisted. Um, you know, it's uh, I've been working 18 to 20 hour days on this since I first started this film, which was a month after the Supreme Court's decision. And I don't have anywhere near the resources that, um, that many people do in uh, uh, as soon as you get into a list like this, but you know we're working to get our film seen, and we're just so thrilled that Academy members have seen our film and um, decided that it was worthy of being on the shortlist alongside such wonderful uh, filmmakers and films. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you talking to us.